My wife asked me to choose between her and my career as a news reporter. I've got breaking news for her. <laughs> right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. So Google are releasing a new dongle which is going to be a streaming device that's going to compete with the likes of the Fire Stick 4K. Now I for one am very excited about this and I will be interested to see your comments down below. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so Google releasing a streaming device. It's going to look very similar to a Chromecast. It may be a little larger and oval shaped, but it's also going to have the full Android TV operating system. Now, I personally love the Android TV layout and I love how it works. It's going to support Dolby Vision HDMI 2.1, but it's also going to have a low latency gaming mode, which is mainly going to be aimed for the Google Stadia or Stadia. Not sure how to pronounce that one. For those who don't know, the Stadia or Stadia is Google's gaming platform, so it's nice that they're making a diverse device. I don't even know if that's the correct term, but it's good that they're making it compatible for that as well. And also, if they're making the device compatible for gaming, hopefully the specs will be pretty good as well. Now, at the moment, we don't have the official specs. We don't know what the RAM's going to be or the storage, but hopefully it's going to have at least two gigs of RAM and it's going to have, it's got to have at least eight or 16 gigabyte of storage. Now, I have been looking around at the prices and the leaks and things like that and what people are saying the price of the device will be. And as you can see on this website, these are images from Home Depot and I'm guessing they shouldn't have been listing this device because it's now being removed. But it does say $49.99. And I'm guessing it's going to be the same in pounds. It's not going to be like £37. It's probably going to be £49.99. But... That's going to be an absolute steal, and I'm really excited for this device. Another thing you will see underneath is you are going to have a range of colours to choose from. So it's expected we're going to have a black and a white device, but we're also going to have a few different colours. Rock Candy, Como or Como Blue, and Summer Melon. Now these are really pale pastel colours and they don't really suit my taste, but I suppose it's going to be an option for anybody to have those colours. Now as you can see on that sales page, it does say Sabrina Abbey. So Sabrina is the code name for the Google dongle. I don't know why they've got to give shit code names, but so Sabrina is the device Abby is actually the remote. So they've given the remote its own name. And if we take a look at that remote, in my opinion, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I think of it. It does look very easy to use. There's not a lot going off on it. It does look very basic. I don't know how much I like it because it does look like it is going to be very small, but we'll not know until we have the device and the remote here with us and we can try them. But we can guess that the remote is going to be a little bigger than that. There's no volume buttons that we can see there or no fast forward and rewind buttons. So it has been cut off. So hopefully we like it. So obviously, like we said, with the Google dongle or Sabrina and Abby, that is going to look very similar to the Chromecast Whereas the Chromecast, it's around $30 and the Ultra is around $70. But Android TV has Chromecast built in. So if we are getting this device for around $50, Chromecast is just going to become derelict. You're not going to need it no more. You'll go for this device. One thing it's possibly going to be lacking in is obviously the amount of ports on it. So an Ethernet port, USB ports, optical Everything like that, we're guessing that's not going to be available. It's going to be very much like the Chromecast or the Fire Stick. It's just going to have the power port and the HDMI and that's it. So this could be the one thing that puts people off. So we don't have any official release dates. People were saying earlier in the year that we could expect to see it in June or July. It hasn't been released yet. People are now saying between August and September... But a lot are saying to expect it around the same time as the release of the Google Pixel 5. So this is around the end of October, but obviously there's no official release date as of yet. But I, for one, I'm super excited about this. I just thought I'd let you know about it, make you aware of it, and let you know what we know up to now. But let me know in the comments section down below, would you buy one of these? What would you like to see on it? And what kind of specs would you like to see? 
I'll be down there waiting for you anyway. Right. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da.